Dictionary.com defines the greenhouse effect as an atmospheric heating phenomenon caused by short wavelength solar radiation being readily transmitted inward through the Earth's atmosphere, but longer wavelength heat radiation less readily transmitted outward, owing to its absorption absorption by atmospheric carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, and other gases. Thus, the rising level of carbon dioxide is viewed with concern. Or in other words, it is the rise in temperature that the Earth experiences because certain gases in the atmosphere, water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane, for example, trap energy from the sun. Without these gases, heat would escape back into space and Earth's average temperature would be about 60 degrees Fahrenheit colder. Because of how they warm our world, these gases are referred to as greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect is created by greenhouse gases. The light, UVs, and heat from the sun pass through the atmosphere. While some of the rays are absorbed by the Earth, others are reflected off the Earth's surface and go back into the atmosphere. Of these reflected rays, some bounce off the atmosphere back at the Earth, and others pass through and go back into space. The increase in greenhouse gases makes the atmosphere trap more of the rays that have bounced off the Earth. This raises the temperature of the Earth, hence the name global warming. We humans are spilling millions of pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and the more CO2 there is in the universe, the more heat that is trapped from the sun's rays. So our atmosphere heats up. Our ice caps start to melt, and then there's less ice to reflect the sun's rays. So the melting only accelerates faster, and our earth heats up more and more. So now that the earth is all heated up, it will affect the growth of crops, animal migration of all species, and it may cause heat waves and flooding. Also, since the water is warmer, we will have worse storms, like Hurricane Katrina. There are a few different solutions that may help to lessen the problem of the greenhouse effect. Turn off lights when you leave a room. If you have a car, don't use it for short journeys. Basically use anything that uses less energy. New coastlines would have to be drawn on maps. Because water expands as it is heated, and because oceans absorb more heat than land, sea levels around the world would rise. Cities on the coast would flood. Temperate places that now receive frequent rain and snowfall, like Wisconsin, might become hotter and drier. Inland lakes and rivers would shrink. Forest fires could occur more often. Frequent periods of drought would make it hard to raise crops for, for food. There would be less water available for drinking, showers, irrigation, even swimming pools. Plants and animals unable to take the heat may go extinct and be replaced by heat tolerant species. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other storms caused by changes in heat and water evaporation might occur more frequently and be more intense. There are many warning signs that have been appearing confirming our fears that the greenhouse effect is a real problem. Scientist data has confirmed many things. There are heat waves and periods of unusually warm weather. There is ocean warming, sea level rise, and coastal flooding. Glaciers are melting, and the Arctic and the Antarctic regions are warming. Global warming and the greenhouse effect are huge problems that could, at some point, mean the extinction of many species and changes in our everyday lives. We need to start conserving energy and fighting this terrible problem. We cannot allow ourselves to contribute to the problems that the Earth already has. It is our responsibility to keep our planet healthy and take care of everything that inhabits it.